Ramaphosa accepts resignations of four SABC board members. Eyewitness News has confirmed that Mathathatsadu is the latest to jump ship after. President Cyril Ramaphosa has confirmed and accepted the resignations of four South African Broadcasting Corporation SABC, board members. Eyewitness News has confirmed that Mathathatsadu is the latest to jump ship. We can confirm that the President has received four letters of resignation from members of the SABC board, that's Ms. Connie Isel Kwiyama, Krishan Adu and John Matizan as well as Mr. Mathathatsadu. The President has accepted these resignations and will be writing to the Speaker, as appointing authority, to inform Parliament of these resignations, says the Presidency's Kuzla Daiko. It follows the earlier revelation that the board is being investigated by the Special Investigating Unit CU, over a dispute involving a contract for security services valued at more than R183 million. In June 2017, the contract was awarded to Mafoko even though the company came second in the bidding process. However, the SABC says the CU investigation has nothing to do with the resignations. The resignation has nothing to do with this matter of a security contract. That's always been the issue that the CU has been investigating. There's no link between the two, SABC board's spokesperson Tobago Malaji says. Earlier on Wednesday, and revealed the contents of the resignation letters of Connie Isel Kuyama, Krishnadu, and John Matt Teason. They've decided to step down while the public broadcaster remains locked in a tussle with newly appointed communications minister Stellan Davini Abrahams over retrenchments of permanent and freelance staff. The minister wrote a letter to the board over the weekend in which she declared her intention to stop engaging with the board because of its determination to forge ahead with retrenchments. These resignation letters gave insight into the deep disagreements over retrenchments at the public broadcaster. Naidu suggested in his resignation letter that the breakdown in the relationship with the minister is because of the board's inability to understand the difference between accountability and political interference. Matt Eason's letter made it clear he disagrees with the board's direction and its refusal to suspend retrenchments. 